welcome back to my channel it's the girl carol Deviva. i do apologize for jumping right in the video like this with you guys without a proper introduction but the reason is i unfortunately deleted some of my clips by accident but luckily i saved the good part for last so towards the end of the video i'm going to show you guys how I hold the hair, how I grip the root, and so on and so forth. Also, I'm going to be showing you guys on the packs I use, you know, the brand of the hair, all of that good information. So stay tuned. I did this hairstyle in my hair, and I gotta say, I really love it. In the back, I did four braids to start off with. And the jam I'm using is from BTL, and that's what I use all the time when I'm doing my box braids. <laughs> I also have this oil that I've been using in my hair. It's from the same company. Whenever I do my braids, I like to use it on my scalp. But towards the end of the video, I'll show you guys the oil and, you know, give you some more information on it. When I'm doing my box braids, I like to start off from the back. I know some people like to start off from the side or the front, but I just can't do it like that. I do it from the back. And when I do the braids, I don't plait them all the way to the end. I just plait them halfway and when, I, when I'm when i finished with putting everything in, that's when I go and finish it. That works so much better for me. A lot of people I know said that that doesn't work for them, but I like to say whatever works for you, girl, go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? Another thing I do when I'm doing my box braids, I part off a section of my hair in the front as you could probably see in the video, but you'll see later on as I get closer towards the front of it that I part of the front area and I work on the back and this makes it so much easier to do my own box braids. One thing I can tell you guys, if you don't take anything else away from this video today, definitely listen to this one. When you're braiding your hair, using jumps is definitely a game changer because that jump is going to help your natural hair to blend in with the synthetic hair that you're using. So definitely when you're doing your box braid, use them. I'm going to go ahead and do a few more braids on camera in this row. And then I'm going to explain to you guys, you know, how I part the back of my hair without looking. So for this row, which is the second row, I'm going to be doing seven braids total. I don't keep track of every row, but I know sometimes you guys ask and I feel so bad when I cannot give you guys the answer that you're looking for. So whenever I see I can, you know, get more information to give you guys, then I'll definitely try. As for how many rolls I did going up, I'm not sure, but I'll look at the video while I'm doing this and I'll see if I could get the answer for you guys and, you know, let you know. If I don't let you know while the video is playing, I'll let you guys know down in the description box. Also, I forgot to mention that previously to starting my hair, I did blow my hair out and I used that Revlon blow dryer that you guys see me with sometimes. I use it in so many of my videos and you know I definitely have to blow my hair out if I don't do that it's going to be so much of a work not only parting my hair but also you know braiding it and getting it to blend the right way. To part my hair, I usually like to just slide the comb right through my hair like this. But as I'm up in the middle, it's harder to go straight across. When I'm down in the back, it's so much easier because the middle of my hair is thicker. So I have to go twice or maybe three times. But because I'm using a rat tail comb and the comb is a little bit cold, you know, I could feel my scalp and it could, and that way I can actually tell you know where I'm putting the comb and that is on the parting that I'm already making so that makes it so much easier for me to part my hair. 
So to do my entire hair, it took me a total of 10 hours. Or uh, let me say roughly 10 hours. It could be slightly less or slightly more, but it was around that much time. And I know you guys are going to be so mad when I tell you how long I kept them in for. As a matter of fact, as I'm editing the video right now, I'm not wearing this here. But anyway, I kept them in for two weeks. For some reason, I was thinking it was a week and a half, but no, nope, it's two weeks. So I'm actually proud of myself because I kept them in longer than I had planned to keep them in. So I really didn't do that bad. I know some of you guys are eager to see the tutorial part of the video, so I'm definitely gonna get there. I'm not gonna skip through the rest of me braiding the back of my hair because there are some of you guys that actually really like watching me do this. I've seen the comments where you guys say it's like therapy watching me braiding my hair like this. So I'm not gonna skip through it, but if you would like to skip through it and get to the tutorial part, you could go ahead and do so. And here I am doing that final one in the back. For some reason, I like catching it on camera because it just makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and part off my first section here at the side. But before I do so, I'm going to put some jam and this is going to help my hair to lay in place. And it's also going to help me to get a really nice parting. So to part my hair, I like to do it slanted like you see me doing here. And I always mention this when I do it, that it will help my parting to line up when I get up to the front. I will not have some going one way and some going the other. No, they will all be straight and line up perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and do two in this first section because the size I'm going for, it only makes sense to do two. So I got the hair that I'm going to be using for this section and I went ahead and split it in two with one piece bigger than the other. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap them around each other just like so. As you see me do here, I'm gonna put my pointing and middle finger in between two of the hair and then bring the other piece from my left hand around the back of my middle finger and bring it through my pointing and middle finger. Now I'm just going to flip the hair over and that's how I prepare the hair to start braiding. To start off my braids, I usually grab my natural hair at the root using the hand that's already holding the center hair and then that's when I start plaiting the hair in while I keep holding it at the root. You know, that's how I grip the hair nice and tight. Understanding how to blend your natural hair with the synthetic hair is something that you're gonna learn over time while doing your hair. Because, I mean, unless you understand exactly how to do it, it's gonna be a little bit challenging. But I promise you, with trials and arrows, you'll get it. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys again exactly how I hold the hair to start my braids off. I put my pointing and middle finger in between two of the hair. Then I bring that third piece around the back of my middle finger and down in the middle of my pointing and middle finger. Now all I'm going to do is flip my hand over just to get the, get the hair exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to grab my hair at the roots using the hand that's holding the synthetic hair already and I'm using mainly my pointing and middle finger as I braid along. So my hair looked dirty but I promise you it's not. The reason why it looks like this is because of my previous hairstyle where I used a lot of jam and edge control. I don't know if you guys remember that hairdo I did with the two ponytail not too long ago. Um, that hairstyle I did use a lot of jam so that's why it looks so flaky but my hair is not dirty okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys one last time in regular speed and up close how I grip the hair to start off my braids. Now that I'm up to the middle, you can notice now how my part in it starts to line up. And I mean, I know I didn't do the other side yet, but you can see for yourself that it's nice and straight. You know, it's going exactly how I want it. So when the other side come up to it, it's going to match up with it perfectly. Another thing I must mention, as I braid my hair, I dip my finger in my jam and I add more onto the hair. This way my natural hair will blend with the synthetic hair just the way I want it. I know that this is something that I've mentioned in almost every one of my videos but I know you guys don't watch all my videos and some of you guys are new to my channel so you know I like to keep repeating stuff like this just in case you may miss it in one or you haven't seen another one where I mention it so yeah. Now I have the last row to go to finish off my hair so I'm going to go ahead and speed it up so we could get to the end much quicker. <laughs>
And here I go with the last and final one to finish it off. Now I just have to go finish the ends and I will be right back. Okay, so I finished off my braids. Um, I put my hair up in a bun so I could take a shower. And I'm back to, you know, finish everything off. I'm going to do my edges. I'm going to add some wrap lotion because that's a must. We definitely got to do wrap lotion. And I'm also going to be adding some oil. And this is the oil I'm going to be adding. So just take a look at it. I really love this oil. Oh my god. It smells so good. It smells so good. So this is from this company, BTL. That's where I get my comb. I get my edge control. I get my jam. They have like two different size jam. It's my jam. And they have this one too. So they have two different sizes. And you know, I use jam with most everything I do with my hair. So I am very blessed <laughs> to have these right here. Like these are like the best thing when I'm doing my hair, especially when I'm doing braids. So I have to have those. I also got these from them, which I'm not going to be using today. I have two packs of them. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll use these in my daughter hair. Or maybe I'll do a giveaway. Who knows? But um, what else I have? I have a, a, a bunch more stuff. I have... Hold on one second. I do have some more of those hair jewelry. I got gold. These I will definitely... Come on, camera focus. Okay, there we go. These I will definitely use in my hair because I love gold. The silver I may use. Can't promise anything, but I may use the silver. There we go. I may use the silver. And then I have another gold right here. So, I got those and I have these right here gold I mean one gold is it two gold yeah two gold two gold two silver that I use these in my hair all the time I may or may not use them today we'll see but anyway I'm gonna go ahead with doing my edges I don't know did I show you guys the edge control I'm using this the edge control I'm using to do my edges and this is what I use all the time Okay, this edge control just lay these babies exactly how I want them. Sometimes I add the edge control all over before I start to brush them in place. So let's do that. Let's do that today. And sometimes I dip the brush in there. But it's it all depends on whatever works for you guys. Whatever works for you, do it. That's what I say. That's what I say all the time. This edge control is very strong and um, when you buy edge control usually you see like um, you know the level of hold that it has on it and this one I don't know if you guys could see it oh yeah it's very clear on there you see that it's five plus which means it is strong so that's the reason why I use it all the time and um, when I'm putting it on sometimes I have to use 
you know the little comb part on my brush just so it will go through my hair or I'll be running the brush on it and it's not moving like it don't move it don't move okay so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side off camera because I don't want to be taking up y'all time you know what I'm saying y'all don't need to watch me do all of that and um and then I'm gonna come back and dip the ends in hot water okay okay we're ready to dip the hair so I put an earring on my robe here so I don't flash nobody because when this hot water start burning I just may run out of hair like a mad woman but anyway let me let my hair down let me let my hair down Whew. it's tight oh my god it's tight It is tight. Whew. Usually my hair don't feel so tight and tender, but today it does. I guess because I'm not, I haven't been doing box braid this often like I used to, so it's a lot of things I need to get <laughs> used to again. Like my my right shoulder hurts like crazy. Well, not like crazy, but it does hurt a little bit. Like it's reminding me that. I was working it too hard last night all right here we go so I like to dip you know go down with it and then come back up you know up and down and then as I'm coming back out of it you know I move it around so it doesn't oh shit that's hot Ooh. excuse my language so yeah so that it doesn't come up looking all knotted it comes up looking nice and straight because that's how I want it nice and straight oh, there we go and now I'm gonna dry it by running the towel down on it like that yo my neck and shoulder is hurting I usually don't have that problem when I do my box braids I need to be doing more box braids that's what I need to be doing so I don't be in no pain when I'm done because I'm always like pushing myself to the limit like once I start it's you know it's go from there go non-stop yeah that's just me and I was so in the mood doing it last night so in the mood oh my gosh that's how I like to feel when I'm doing my box braids when I don't feel like that oof it is so much harder doing it. All right, drying. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and add some um some foam wrap onto my hair, and I don't know if I feel like doing anything else. I'll go ahead and do it. I'm gonna tie it down and then next time you see me I'm gonna have my makeup on okay guys so I'm back I did my makeup and I'm feeling cute you know what I'm saying so now what I'm gonna do is well I was adding some of the hair jewelry in my hair and then I remember I haven't put the oil so I am gonna go ahead and add the oil in my hair on camera so you guys could see <clears throat> how I do it so I just squeeze the top right here to get the oil up in this little applicator and then I just you know take my little time put it on to the roots of my hair like that and get it everywhere where I need it all over my hair Mm. 
And it feels so good going on my scalp. Oh my god. I like them. I like them a lot. Purple is my favorite color, so you know. You know. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more um hair jewelry on it. I've done purple braids in my hair before, but that purple braid I did that time had pink. But this is my first time doing black ombre purple braids. You know what I'm saying? So this is the hair I use. It comes with three in the pack. Oh, this color is just so beautiful. See why I had to buy it. So it comes with three in the pack. How much I paid for it? I'm not sure. The price was not on it when I was buying it, so I'm not sure. So it comes with three in the pack. I bought four packs, and um, I used three. Okay, so this is what I had left from the third pack. Okay, so even though it took me three packs of hair, if I was supposed to do this hairstyle again, I would still buy four packs. Why, you may say? It's because... Um, Every time I do my hair, it takes different amount, especially depending on the size I'm doing. So I wouldn't want to be doing my hair in the middle of the night and, you know, not having enough hair, run out of hair, because then I can't go to the store and that will slow me down. Um, so I would still buy four packs, but it's up to you guys to do whatever you want with that information I give you. Like I said, I only used three packs and I had one left from the third pack left over. But I would still buy um, four packs just to be safe. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, anyway, um, all the products that I use today, I will link them down in the description box. So, if you're interested, definitely go check that out. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concern, definitely leave that down below in the comment area. Also, I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know a lot of you guys came over from Facebook just recently stop following me, you know, and I really appreciate that. So a big shout out to you. A big shout out to all you guys because if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be doing this you know what i'm saying so i appreciate each and every one of you so thank you so much for subscribing for watching for sharing my videos and liking my videos um i'll see you in the next one